gets the fish He knows the facts He always makes fishing fun For you and everyone Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV It's time for Fish Facts TV All right, Fish Facts TV here. Oh my gosh, the snapper were on fire today. Um, if you saw our other deep dropping for lane snappers video, we kind of took everything we did there, did it again with a little different conditions. We got a lot more vermilions. Um, it, was, it was a very hot bite again. And you know, as long as this winter season lasts, we're gonna keep trying to go out there because you know, it's, it's a lot more productive than fishing for yellowtails and getting one keeper every 20, 30 minutes. We can just drop down and get a lane or a vermilion or a lane every single hit. So uh, I think you guys are gonna really like it. Enjoy. Fish Facts TV. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna get eaten if it's not careful. Hey, in the box. These are good sized lane snappers. I snack. People pay a lot of money for a bot this hot, bite this hot. I mean, they're literally. I mean, we could. Oh, oh. shit. Yeah, I don't think. That's the problem using the bigger hooks is. Vermillion. Nice. See, this is a vermilion snapper. These have to be 12 inches instead of eight, but I think it's 13. All right, fill in the box with snapper. This is my dog, I think it is. Yellowtail. With this kind of fight, oh man. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> That's a real one. Hey, we, we got fish today. Last time I took you out, we got a couple fish. Today we got, should last you a week or so, or at least a couple days. This is a monster. a lot of snappers. Mark is finally getting our obligatory mangrove snapper. Oh, that might be a keeper. If he's a keeper, we got to keep him just for the picture. Feel every little nibble. Sir, maybe try one fish and one squid. So you at least like and put the fish on the big hook. Fish Facts TV pulling in the snapper, filling the box. This one might be a little small. Twelve, yeah. Fish. Yeah? No, that's a good fish. That might even be two. Yeah, that is two. Or no, it's just one. Yeah, that's a keeper though. Ooh, this will be close. I think he's there. Twelve. I think this is a right out of twelver. 
Boom. Be just adding the species. Marcus with the schoolmaster, a pretty good one too. So the dogs have like a white tear almost under their eye. Here, I'm going to measure them just, but these only have to be 10 and this thing's probably close to 12. Yeah, he is 11. Nice. <laughs> Wow, I didn't in the boat. Nice. Get him in, get him in. Let's look at this yelltail. The dog snapper. Don't see these every day, especially out here. 11. So the way you know it's a dog snapper, right under the eye, it's the like a little, dots. yeah. No, 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 not the blue dot. See the, the white fading? Okay. Because schoolmaster's fins are almost the same color. It's just that like little, they call it a white triangle under the eye. That's a good fish though. Uh oh. God dang it. Some big? Yeah. Got a shark? I don't know what it is. I think the big one just flexed out my other hook. I still think I have that first one. No, no, it's fine. This is just a tiny rod, you know? Should be at least something for the icebox. Oof, shoulder. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Vermilion got... Ah, you got hit by something. Yeah. He's a keeper. Uh, is that my sicker? Uh, no, my that's line. mine. That's my line. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let me get this in the... Oh! Grouper. I mean, they're there today. They're just little vermilions, you know. Yep. It's your first vermilion, right, Dad? Ever? Yeah. They don't get rare vermilions up in North Florida. They still really little. Grunt? It's like a grunt. Lane. It's a good lane. Yeah. Throw this one in the box. I can't believe you don't fry those up, man. Those are delicious. That is good. All right. The gim rock. Um, so for these vermilions and lanes, we had two separate setups. Um, if you saw, I was using a light spinning reel, just my pen 4500 with, uh, I think I had eight ounces on there with the same chicken rig. I pre-tie these chicken rigs. Um, I was using two watt circles um, and those were getting bent out by some of the larger fish uh, on the deep drop. And for the inshore stuff, just kind of what I typically use inshore, either a weightless yellowtail jig or a, um, two odd circle hook on the bottom with about an uh, ounce or two of weight. Um, and everything in shallow was on live pilchards. So everything deep was on squid, but enjoy.